we, um, you know, there is an R&D department in quantum machines. There is uh, engineers for hardware development. There is engineers for software development. And uh, I, uh, I was browsing on LinkedIn the other day and found the post of, of a colleague who is, uh, is part of the software team and, and he's hiring for his team. He's uh, hiring software engineers and uh, he's making some little posts to debunk that you don't need to be a physicist to work for a quantum computing company. And what he was, uh, what, and he's like drawing, making some small cartoons here and there. And, and he was, and the message was like, you know, this is, this is why we don't need all physicists to make a, a, a company. And, and it had to do with, uh, yes, you know, there is, uh, we have physicists in the company, but it is about working together and not just the physicists doing it all. We still need very skilled and talented software engineers that are going to solve these like three problems that are like pure software engineer problems. And, uh, you know, it is just a combination of the conversation of a very talented software or hardware engineer with like the knowledge, the context knowledge of the physics that is going to make the final product actually.